What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we got ourselves a really cool team for you guys showcasing one of my favorite GMAX Pokemons ever, Pikachu. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. But we got two little announcements before we actually get today's or get started with today's team preview. And get started here. You guys know I've been giving away a $20 eShop gift card giveaway. And that giveaway is finally over. I want to give a huge congratulations to Shirley H for winning my first ever giveaway. Away. Thank you guys all for participating in it, doing all the good stuff for the giveaway. More will be on its way. So hopefully you guys stay tuned and stay updated for the next giveaway. Another thing is your boy just recorded his first video for Super Mario Strikers Battle League. And I cannot wait to upload that. It's definitely a lot of fun. I headed on to the online mode, play some online matches for you guys, grab some wins, get some cool goals. So hopefully you guys are excited for that video when it releases. Make sure you guys show some love to it. But with that out the way, let's get started with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner. We got the one and only Pikachu over here. Like I said, one of my favorite G-Max Pokemons in the game. It's just super fun to use. It really is. It's got the Lightning Rod ability alongside with that Light Ball as its item. Fake Out, Thunder, Surf, and Helping Hand for a wonderful moveset for this little Pikachu. Second Pokemon is Zacian. I'm done talking about Zacian. Like, Series 12 has been here for way too long. If I have a Zacian on my team and he's set up like that, I'm not even going to say anything anymore. Middle left is going to be Kyogre over here with Drizzle and Mystic Water. Just such a crazy combo. Works really, really well and legit could sweep a team by itself. It's got Water Spout, Origin Pulse, Ice Beam, and Protect. Fourth Pokemon on squad is going to be our lovely Tailwind Setter. We got Talonflame over, over here. And I love using Talonflame just because it's like kind of like off meta a little bit now in this series because it doesn't get used as much. But it can still hit like a truck as well. It's got the Focus Ash with Dual Wing Beat, Tailwind, Quick Guard to protect us from like fake outs and first turn priority moves. Then we got will o -Wisp to burn on physical attackers. Bottom left hand corner is going to be our support Amoongus over here with the Generator and the Koba Berry. It's obviously got support to put Pokemon to sleep, Rage Power to distract opponents. We got Energy Ball for our stab move and Protect for our final move. Last Pokemon is this lovely Defiant Thunder set. I feel like this is like pretty normal Thunder set. It just works so well. It's got the Soul Fest, Defiant to counter up onto those Intimidate Pokemon. Then you got Wild Charge to fly both for stab, Brick Break for coverage and Max Knuckle and the Break Screens. And then you got Crunch for our dark coverage move. Guys, if you want to try out the scene, the run code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop into today's video. Try to get some wins with this GMAX Pikachu team. First battle coming at you guys. We're hopping in against a Zacian and Palkia team. And I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about this one. I feel like leading Pikachu and just ripping up in this battle. He also has the Landorus alongside with the, uh, what is that? What is that little guy? Urshifu, Regilecki, and then Rillaboom. I gotta lead the Pikachu. Get the Pikachu rolling here. I could also go Talonflame. But the problem would be Lando. Lando could definitely be a problem. But I feel like we could just set up Talon and kind of get after the battle that way. I really am digging it. He might want to go into like a, a trick room, but still, if we get Pikachu rolling out there, it could definitely be pretty strong. So I think I'm just going to Pikachu, Talonflame, run the Zacian, run the Kyogre, and go from there. He could have Fake Out and then get after my Pikachu, but I feel like we should be fine here, right? I could Quick Guard it. I could definitely Quick Guard it, but again, it really depends who he's going to lead. All right, I'm cool. We're, we're, we're chilling with this. We are chilling with this. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But yo, you guys got to let me know. For question of the day, do you guys think they should add another typing to Gen 9? Because I remember the last typing that came into Pokemon was a uh, fairy, and that came in Gen 6. So we, we went Gen 7 and Gen 8 without typing. So maybe we'll see something new here, but I don't think they're going to add another typing. I don't think we really need it. But let me know your guys' answers in the comment section down below. He's going to end up going Regilecki, which is totally fine. And we're going to end up going with Talonflame. So I can easily just do this. Dynamax, go for G-Max Bull Crash. Send that that way and just pop a Tailwind, right? Pop a lovely little Tailwind here. So I play call all day. Unless he wants to swap into the uh, the Lando. That would be a great He swaps into Lando. That would be a great call. But I don't I don't, I don't think he has the Moxie to do it. I just think Pikachu is going to roll off strong here. He's going to get us on the board. Get some Paralyzes. Get some big damage. We're going to roll off from here. Because Pikachu with a nice lovely Tailwind could be solid. Could definitely be solid. Let's see what our opponent wants to do. We're just hoping he didn't bring a Lando. Lando would do us dirty. Lando would do us dirty. If he swaps into Lando here, that could definitely do us do us real bad. Do us real bad. So we're hoping, like, I would rather him protect and swap into Lando just so we get off the G-Max full crash and we get off some damage. And cool. He does not swap. Just beautiful. Pikachu getting at G-Max. We have Gale Wing, so uh, Talon will come out here first. And I wonder if a Regilecki can actually outspeed this Pikachu. In the tail one because Regilecki is fast, but we're kind of hoping he goes for E Web. Layton Rod gives us that plus one uh, special attack boost, and we can get buzzing from, from there. But we're gonna get the G Max Pikachu out and about here, and he's gonna end up Dynamax and maybe Palkia here. I kind of hope it goes Palkia. Actually, I, I might would rather have it be Regilecki. 
I don't know. I don't know who I want it to be. It's gonna be Palky. Okay. So Palk's gonna come out here. No max guard. We're not. You're not allowed to max guard. All right. Pokemon is not allowed to max guard. So we're gonna hope he's not guarding here. We're gonna hope we can get off some nice, nice, lovely shots for all into him. So I'm gonna end up dropping a nice little lovely tailwind. He's not max guarding. Pikachu, I'm hoping you go next, right? Go next, Pikachu. Cool. Pikachu goes next. We're gonna drop a lovely G Max Bull Crash with that light bulb. And we're gonna paralyze this Pokemon. Paralyze that Pokemon. And he's so cool. Poke is just, just a soaking Pokemon. He's just able to soak everything. Thunderbolts can come through here. And he, we are Lightning Rod. So we soak that up all day. We love it. Plus one. This could be a huge turn for us if we can get off another G Max Bull Crash. Let's see what he goes into from here. From here. He's gonna go for a geyser. If he's gonna send a geyser this way, I'm kinda cool with the geyser. And he's gonna go on the Pikachu. Can you eat that Pika? That's our, that's our only problem with Pikachu. That is our only problem with Pikachu. He is a lightweight. A lightweight. Look at that. Just gets absolutely dumped on. We could have used another turn there. Because he was plus one at that point. We had speed buzzing. I really did like where we're sitting. But uh, it'd be like that sometimes. It'd be like that sometimes. But I could bring out Kyogre from here. I think I might. Kyogre should be faster than uh, Reggie at this point, right? Yeah, he should be. Yeah, 156. You're 156. That can definitely give us a speed. And we can double down on Regilecki at this point. Yeah, I'm just going to double down on Regilecki, drop a nice, lovely water spout, and uh, get after that thing with a dual wing beat. Nice, lovely dual wing beat. So yeah, water spout, bang. Drop my nice, lovely dual wing beat. I'm going to roll after this Regilecki, because we're not dealing with it. We're not dealing with the Regilecki. We're not dealing with it. Palkia is definitely scary, but I, I'm, I'm trying to think if we can get rid of that thing. That thing might be a problem for us. So Regilecki's going to protect. It's a smart, smart little protect from him. Smart little protect. But he shouldn't be able to kill any of my Pokemon. I right, focus dash on Talonflame and uh, Kyogre should be fine with whatever Palkia has to offer. Water Spout's gonna poke. Can we chip up some damage on the Palkia? Uh, just a little bit. Just a little bit. And maybe he'll be paralyzed and he can't move. Oh, we get a crit. Beautiful. Palkia's gonna go next. He's gonna send the Geyser. That's gotta go for Talonflame, right? Talonflame's gonna bring out this Focus Sash, which is gorgeous. And we're gonna get Buzzing from there. The Focus Sash out and about. Focus Sash out and about. Cool. We sashed up. That's lovely. We're doing the same thing. Water Spout, the wing beat onto the side here. We gotta get rid of Red Light. Especially before his Tailwind even ends. I think Tailwind might end next turn. Hopefully he doesn't go for double protect and land it, because that could be off. That can get real ugly. That can get real ugly. But we still have Zacian in the back end, and Zacian's gonna be pretty solid for us. He's definitely gonna be pretty solid. Definitely a solid, solid little mon here. But yeah, I need to get rid of this Red Lucky. This Red Lucky has got to go. It's gotta go. He has got to be gone. Gots to be gone. We're hoping he doesn't have Robum. Robum could be scary in the back end, too. Probably he hasn't swapped or anything. I don't know. I guess we'll see. I guess we shall see who this dude's rocking with. But come on, dude. Make a move. I think he might swap, but I don't think he wants to swap. That's the problem. I don't think he wants to swap. He does not swap. The wing beat's going to poke out here. I just hit this thing. Just take off focus. Ash. Water spout should be able to do enough damage to finish this thing off. That should be a solid turn from us. Water spout comes out here. We say bye-bye to Regilecki, and we chip up more damage on the path. So cool. So Palkia is pretty much dies to like it next turn. And since she's gonna drop a worm one, probably go after Ogre, right? Goes after Ogre and Ogre soaks. Ogre does indeed soak. He's gonna get that attack drop. I would love to set up another tailwind if I can, but I don't know if I could. I do not know if I can get that off. Palkia's gonna take some life orb damage. And do we have one more turn left in tailwind? We might? Or we might not. I would love to get one more turn. One more turn off in tailwind could be maybe bring us to match. So I'm not really too worried about this Palkia with speed. I'm surprised it hasn't been paralyzed for one turn. It's definitely due. But I'm more worried about these back-end Pokemon. So he's going to send out his next guy, and it's going to be Zacian of his own. Do we have one more turn left in Tailwind? That could be ridiculously good. That could be huge for us. That could be huge. If we get one more turn left in Tailwind, it would be a big old turn for us. Because you know what? I think we do have one more turn left in Tailwind. Let's see. Yeah, we have one more. And Zacian is obviously going to protect, but I still have to rock into this Origin Pulse. I'm just gonna go there and I'm going to go into a duel. Over on the path side. I really do think Zassian just protects you, right? Yep. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. So he protects there. He's trying to get some speed on the side. And we're gonna be able oh no, he doubles with the protect. Wow. He doubles with the protect. Smart little booger play. Smart little play. Okay, so now so now the real question is. The real question is. Who is Zassian going to go after? Is he going to allow me to set up another Tailwind? Because I would love to protect and set up a Tailwind. That could be a smart play. If we can get this off. What's your, wait, what's Talonflame's speed? I don't think Talonflame's faster than Zassian, which is a little whack. No, he's not. 
He's not. I really want to go for his tailwind. You know, we're gonna stay in with both Pokemon. We're not gonna protect. I cannot I cannot afford to make the hard read, so you know what? I'm just gonna tailwind and go from there. Tailwind and origin pulse at the same time. Let's see how someone plays out here. Oh, Talonflame out speed! Talonflame, I love you! Love you, Talonflame. Origin Pulse gonna poke here. Do some work on this Zassian. We got rain, we got mystic water. Take out the Zassian. Do some work on them. Get him out of here. We don't take out any of them. Palkia, be paralyzed or something. Behemoth Blade comes in here. If Palkia is paralyzed this turn, that could be huge. That could be huge. He's so due for paralyzed. So he's gonna go out for Talonflame with that. That's fine. We have Tailwind set up. We need this Pokemon to pretty much be paralyzed. And we can win this battle. Be paralyzed, yo. Be paralyzed. You're due. You're so due to be paralyzed. There it is. Yo, I knew it. I knew this Palkia was due. This Palkia was due. He was due. That is a gorgeous turn for us. It's lovely. Okay, so from here, I'm just going to go into Zacian. I'm going to play it safe. I'm not going to drop an Origin Pulse. I know I have speed. I know he doesn't have first turn priority. I'm going to drop an Ice Beam into the uh, into the Palkia. Make sure that takes him out because you know it's a high accuracy chance and we're not going to miss it. And I'm just going to drop like a, a Behemoth Blade right into that Zacian to finish him off. Oh, beautiful. Yo. Dude, I knew the Palkia was due. The Palkia was so due. He was so due. He was sitting there. He hasn't got paralyzed in like five turns i was like yo he's re he's ready to go and that worked out perfectly for us i wonder how close it would have been after that i don't know but this really puts us in a great spot because this is going to turn it's a a 3v1 it could have been a 3v1 situation you could add three and i could add one it's going to turn it the other way it's going to make it a 2v1 for us because we're going to pick up the easy double kill here and then we have tailwind we have speed control and we're going to take it up against his final pokemon so he's going to end up protecting zassian i'm cool with that zassian gets to protect behemoth blade's going to fly this way and then we're just gonna ice beam and take out this Palkia, no problem. Palkia, get on out my game. Later, Palks. Later. So Pikachu coming from the dead. Coming from the dead with that Paralyze to help us out. That Paralyze was so big. It was so big. Now, let's see who's final minus. This could be, this could uh, be, is it gonna be Roboom? It is gonna be Roboom. Roboom's looking a little tough here. Um, You know what, at this point, I'm just gonna protect Kyogre and take out Zacian, go one-on-one -on -one here. No way he fakes me out, right? I mean, I think we should be fine regardless. Do I protect? I don't think I protect. I really don't think I protect. Just for a sheer fact is, if he makes a hard read and reads my protect and fakes out Zacian and doubles down into him, that could be a problem. So I'd rather the Kai Ogre go down more than anything. If he wants to fake me out, he can fake me out. But as long as we can get off some damage and start chipping away on this guy. Probably should have went for an Origin Pulse just to finish off that Zass, but... Mm. Let's see how he does this one. I could have double protect just to waste out this fake out, but I'm thinking he might go for a grassy guy just to finish off my, my ogre here. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. This, guy, this guy's trying trying to make it make a play for him. He's gonna go for the fake out, right into ogre. So that's totally fine. Ogre survives on one, which is gorgeous. <laughs> Free focus ash, baby. Free focus ash. Love it. Love it. Behemoth play comes out here, turns this into a 2v1. We're chilling fine. My Pokemon outspeed is Roboom regardless. He can grass guide me if he wants to, but we're just going to start teeing off and just getting off some damage. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Kyogre living on one. Free Focus Ash is on deck. Free Focus Ash is on deck. That's going to be GG's. I can see this guy just end up canceling the battle, but maybe, maybe, maybe not. We'll see. We're just, I'm just going to go there, and Behemoth Blade's going to do the most damage for us. I'm going to rip into him with that. Cancel the battle. Yep, he canceled the battle. We start off 1-0 with a beautiful victory. Second battle coming at you guys, and we're going up against a Groudon weather team with Shadow Rider Kylarx and Power Spot Stone Journer. So cool little off meta Pokemon. Gotta watch out for that. When Power Spot Stone Journer's out on the field, ally Pokemon again. I think like a 1.5 times multiplier boost. Might only be physical attackers, but it could be both. It's just it's just an absolute beast of an ability. So we gotta watch out for that lovely Stone Journer. But more importantly, we gotta get weather control here. I feel like speed control is definitely gonna be detrimental. So I'm gonna bring in Talonflame. Talonflame could definitely be a lovely Pokemon to set up the Tailwind. Kind of get rocking from there. It could actually lead the Pikachu yet again. Pikachu would not be too shabby, but I feel like Zacian's going to be your play. Or Thunderous wouldn't be bad. Or my boy Thunder wouldn't be bad, especially in that Tailwind. His dark moves, he can rip up a little bit. 79 speed. And he is rocking Incineroar. So, you know what? Let's roll in with them two. Them two, Zacian, Ogre. Run it. Run it. Run it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. We definitely have to bring Kyogre in the back end. Because you guys know, weather control is definitely going to be a huge factor in this battle. But I'm really liking this start. I'm really liking this lead, bro. Talonflame, like I said, definitely an off-meta Tailwind Pokemon, but it's super, super good. Speaking of off-meta Tailwind Pokemon, a Pokemon that I want to get my hands on for Series 12, who I haven't used in, like, probably a year now, Braviary used to be an absolute menace. 
Used to be an absolute menace. I used to absolutely love that Pokemon. I want to see what he does here. We are going to see how this Pokemon, uh, what this Pokemon does here. I could Dynamax and just start taking away. I want to. If I want to, I could. But obviously go for a like, Tailwind here. Do I just stay in and go for a Crunch or do I Dynamax? Go Dynamax, maybe go for an Airstream? Hmm. I think I'm going to Dynamax to Thundo. Thundo, Thundo. So I can after this after Calyrex. This Calyrex is definitely sad, so it's just like, I really don't want to, uh, I'd rather get a speed boost than go for anything else. But he's going to end up, Dy is he Dynamax and Cali right off the rip? Wait, Dynamax and Cali? It's got to be Cali. There's no way he's Dynamax and Puffball McGee, right? Yeah. <laughs> he's going to Dynamax the horse, so the horse is going to get after us. This lovely little horse is going to get after us. How you doing, horsey? And now the problem is, is he going to go for darkness? Would not mind for darkness. I would not mind for darkness because the sheer fact is we are assault vested and he's going to minus my special defense, but then my attack's going to go plus two on the board. Be good. Could be good for jeans. Definitely could be good. For Definitely could be good for jeans. But we'll see what he wants to do. We'll, we'll, we'll let this guy play out. We'll let this guy play out. So I'm guessing Tailwind's going to be Tailwind, Tailwind cancel, right? Or is he going to taunt me? Dex, we love this turn. We love this turn. We absolutely adore this turn. He protects Whimsicott. I think we're going after him, which is is a reasonable reasonable thing to do. But now nah, we're saying no. We're going for a straight airstream right into your Calyrex. We're getting after your Calyrex. So chipping up some mean damage on the Calyrex. It's a turn. I do not see him going after my Talonflame. So Talonflame should still have Gale Wings, and we can do Wing Beat into that uh that Whimsicott when we get the chance. Let's see. He's gonna go for a Mind Storm. So he is going after you, and he's not gonna uh he's not gonna proc my Defiance. So he's just gonna he's gonna flop up some terrain here. Some terrain's gonna get bugging. He's going to bug out on some terrain. Uh, we are plus one on speed. I am just going to drop a max darkness, try to take out that Calyrex at this point, and then just do a wing beat right here. Because I think my Cal my uh, my Thunder should be able to take out that... Uh, should be able to take out that Calyrex. Or should be able to outspeed that Calyrex. Plus one? Let me cut it close. We're 179. Yeah, we should be able to outspeed that thing. You just never know with that horse. It's so dang fast. It's ridiculous. This is ridiculous, but this could be a solid start for us for, for uh, this battle here. The wing beats can come through here. Oh my god, and the psychic terrain protects it from gale wings, which is ridiculous. Which is ridiculous, so I can't do anything unless I change up terrain. Unless I change up terrain, cool. We still outspeed. That's lovely. I cannot do anything. Wow, that's whack, but still. We pick up the KO. That's a huge turn for us. God, man. What would you mean? That's rough. That is rough, because the wing beat would have been clutch. Because it's not a first turn priority move. It is not. It's just due to the ability turns it into first turn, turn priority. That's why I forgot about it. That's whack. So I guess uh, hopefully he throws out like a physical attack I can throw a burn onto. Um, what else can we do? What else can we do? We could pop another airstream if we want to. But we might want to change up terrain. I'm going to pull out Groudon. So Groudon's going to come out here. And I'm going to go for the burn right on the head. Let's hands down play. Throw a Will-O-Wisp that way. Maybe airstream. Will-O-Wisp. And I could knuckle, but airstream could be your play. Knuckle could be your play too. We don't really have anything to kind of go after that thing, so I'd rather get off some damage on the whimsy. Rather start chipping up on the whimsy cot. Ground's gonna protect that's totally fine. We are still focused as I'm just gonna get off a burn on that thing, maybe next turn. Switcheroo's can come out here. How dare you switch a me? Take my assault vest. What are you giving me? Eject button? That's fine. That's fine. Willowis can come out here, and we're just gonna take take Whimsicott out now. Now we're sitting here with the jack button, but we should be fast on the field. We'll be fast on the field, so that's fine that you give us a jack button. Beta Whimsicott. Whimsicott's out for the count. I'm just going to keep throwing burns onto this Pokemon. And I believe he's going to bring out Venusaur. And at this point, Thunderous should be faster than Venusaur. Good do us good. Good do us good. But the problem here is our Dynamax turns are over. And if we want to hit that thing with a super effective flying move, we're going to have to use Fly. And that's so easily predictable. Now, I still might go for it. Just pose that threat. Just suppose that threat could be good. It'd be gorgeous. So, Will O Wisp, we're looking for it again. Because we still cannot do any type of move. <laughs> and we're just going to fly and dip out of here. We're going to dip out of here. You will not eject button me. We're cooking here, yo. We're looking good here. This could be a sweep. This could be a sweep. Get off this lovely burn. I know, uh, probably Groudon's Rock and Rock side, but still. Venusaur is looking a little fast, but we're plus two. My Pokemon still have the speed on him. Will Wisp is going to miss, which is very ugly. That is no bueno. It could have been a huge Will Wisp. It could have been sitting real pretty. 
And we're gonna have weather control for the rest of the battle too. I, I totally forgot we we have a uh, Kyogre in the back end. I'm just gonna let uh, him go out here. Hopefully, uh, he just was not rock and protect. And we're gonna dodge this. So I'm slumped. I'm still gonna go for a turn here. I'm gonna go for a will of us, even though we are going to be sleeping. That's rough, dude. This Groudon should be 100% burned. But if Venus was out, Rock and Protect, we're sitting so good. We're sitting so good. Yeah, see, that's that that was my only problem with Fly. It's so easily. But it's all good. I can definitely just bring out this uh this what's called next turn. It's Ogre. It's a AO, give me weather control. So he's gonna fire punch across. He's going to take out the Thunders. See now if that Pokemon was burned, we could have been thriving. We could have totally been thriving. And Tailwind is gone. The Tailwind's gone for both teams. That's fine. Terrain's going to bounce out here as well. I could go into Zassian. Zassian would be faster than everybody. But Ogre's going to come out here. We're taking this weather away. I'm going to say, hey, yo, give me that weather. Let's get after it. So Terrain's gone. I Yo, I have the Wing Beat, which is first time priority, which could be huge for us. And I don't know if What's Called is going to protect. Do we think What's Called is going to protect? Groudon? He might. He might. I'm still going to go for Water Spout. I'm still going to do it. I was going to drop an Ice Beam, and he does protect. Dang it, dude. Should have dropped the Ice Beam, but I just think this is a smart play as we do have the upper hand right now. Talonflame is still asleep, but still, he can first turn priority with the Wing Beat next turn. Water Spout's going to poke. Venusaur is probably going to take out my Ogre or put him to sleep. We'll see. But still, this should be able to chip up some nice damage on him. Yes, sir. Beautiful. That's some big old damage. Some big old damage. He's going to end up going for a Leaf Storm, and that's going to take me out, but that basically puts him out of the battle, too. Oh, we eat. Oh, my God. That's GG's. We eat. We eat. That's lovely. That is lovely. But from here, you know what? He might protect, but I'm still going to go for his dual wing beat. I'm just going to rock straight into it. Pretty much wrap up the battle, because now Venusaur is minus two. Now he doesn't know what to do. Wow, dude. Ogre eats that up? That's just beautiful. Talonflame wakes up, gets that first turn priority. He hasn't been touched all game, and he just dumps on Venusaur. Venusaur, get on out of here. Get on out of here. Orja Pulse is going to fly here. Hopefully he connects and possibly takes him out. Probably takes him out, right? Rain, stab, super effective, Mystic Water. Get him on out of here. Beautiful. 2-0 and o for today's video. We just guarantee ourselves a win record. Let's hop to 2 or 3rd and look for that perfect. It's perfect record time, ladies and gentlemen. We are going up against a heavy fire squad. He's got Blacephalon, which you got to watch out for those mind blowns. He's got the ground on for drought. Charizard with that solar power. Colossal, probably steam engine and weakness policy. Then he's rocking Regilecki alongside with Zacian. All right, Jeans. How are we playing this one? I really want to go in the Pikachu here. I really want to go in the Pikachu. It is third and final battle. I'm going to go in the Pikachu. I'm going to say screw it and just roll out with him, even though he's probably not the best choice. And we're going to rock Talonflame for that Tailwind. That's my play. That's my play calls right there. We're going to bring Kyrie in the back end for Weather Control and Zacian. Let's rip it up. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. It's going to be tough. It is going to be tough. Like, Pikachu, obviously not the best choice. If we lose, we lose. You guys know if I'm up 2-0 in the video, I like to have some fun in the third and final battle. But I want to show off Pikachu, dude. Pikachu's just the main. He's just the main. Cannot go wrong with a good old Pikachu. Cannot go wrong with the good old Pikachu. Cannot go wrong with it. So let's see. He's gonna end up going with Blissephalon. Alongside with Talon. Or not Talon, alongside with Groudon. Groudon. How you doing, Groudon? How are you, buddy? Okay, um. A little scary, not really. I still kinda want to Dynamax a little bit, not really. Terrified. Could go for a fake out. What do I wanna do? I'm bolt crashing. Actually, I could change up weather. No, I'm bolt crashing. I'm bolt crashing. <laughs> I know my Pikachu's dead after this turn. That's our only problem. Unless I can get off this will o -Wisp, but no, we're going to Tailwind instead. I know Pikachu's dead this turn. Like, I know he is. I'm having some fun here. He's going to end up with... Never mind. Pikachu is here to play. Pikachu came to play. Pikachu came to play. Pikachu came to play. Pikachu came to play. I can't believe he swapped that Groudon, and I'm confused to as why. I'm trying to think of to like why he swapped the Groudon. Like I'm trying to put my mind to this one. I'm trying to think, and I do not know, but I love it. I love it because now we get off this Tailwind, we get off the Double Paralyze. Woo! Double Paralyze. Maybe because he's going for like a Mind Blow. I do not know. But Volt Crash coming in hot, coming in hot, and look at that. But Cephalon, get on out of my game. Get on out of my game. We paralyzed that Colossal. Woo! Love it. Love it. We would love it. We would love it. Ow, we swapped the Groudon. See, I was I was willing to just take out the Blacephalon and have that Groudon just go into the, go into like a, a Blades and I was going to burn it. I'm, I'm just going to burn it this turn. I'm just going to change up this weather. 
Actually, he is Steam Engine. He's gonna go for a Volk Crash into it. I'm not gonna proc that Steam Engine. I'm gonna burn you. I'm gonna burn you. I'd rather have a burn than a paralyze. Well, actually, yeah, you can't paralyze the ground on anyway. So it, it, it do not matter. It don't matter. But hopefully, it's gonna be a Dynamax on the ground. Because if I can burn this Dynamax ground, that's gonna be GG. Right? Who's gonna go into him? He's gonna go into Colossal. G Max Colossal, I should say. G Max Colossal. Ready to drop some rocks. Some rocks for Volcalyph damage. I'm not cool with that. He's gonna be paralyzed this turn anyway. We love it. We love it. We love it. Willow is gonna come in here and it connects. Mwah. Beautiful. So the paralyzes and burns coming in hot with this squad. This G Max Pikachu team's really good. It's really strong. We're gonna bolt crash here. I'm gonna chip up some damage onto you. Got, gotta love that light ball. And we're doing some work. So he's gonna go for blades here. Pikachu, eat this up. Now nah, Pikachu's dead. Actually, he's burned. Pikachu, my guy, my guy. Pikachu with a big eat up, but both our Pokemon are dead at this point. 100%. He Volcalith, he takes down to my Focus Ash. Both Volcalith damage is going to take out my Talonflame. It's going to take out my Pikachu. But yo, I'm loving where we're sitting. We got Tailman set up. We are about to bring out my my boy Kai Ogre, who can one tap both these guys with Water Spout. We have Zacian. These guys are paralyzed. They're burned. It's over. We won. It's GG's. We love this game. And Pikachu actually survives. Pikachu actually survives. Good game. Good game, right? Ogre coming in the back end. That's the, that's the only problem. If you're going up, if you have a Groudon and and actually if you have if you're going up against Weather Team B Weather Team, you have to make sure you get weather control. The team who has weather control, usually at the end of the battle, is winning it all. Because look at this. We're taking weather control here. If he swaps it, that's fine. We kind of like we're at the point where like we have the control, which is beautiful. And like we're we're thriving here. What do I even do? I just want to double down in this thing. It's just like over with. Like, Water Spout's going to pick up a double KO on both of you guys. We have Tailwind. But GG's four times super effective over onto that, uh, Colossal. We know it's going to take out the Groudon. Like, it's it, it's over with. <laughs> like, and Water Spout doesn't miss. He's going to end up withdrawing Groudon. It's okay. We're doubling down into that Pokemon. He's going to go with the great friend who is Zacian. Zacian's, Zacian's going to go down to this, too. It's GG's. <laughs> and Groudon's burned. Zacian's dead. Everyone's dead. Guys are coming through here. Yo, look at Pikachu sending in a geyser. It's actually hilarious. Chipping up some damage. Did a good amount in that rain. We love it. Water Spout comes in here. Ayo Zassian. Ayo Colossal. Both you guys. Get on out my game. Absolutely ripping up on him. Pikachu's going to go down the Volklet damage. That's totally fine. His smartest play probably would have been to like double protect there. And have Volklet damage take out Pikachu and kind of like work around that. But nah, yo, we're, we're thriving here. We're thriving. Pikachu, thanks for coming. He definitely could have ripped into me early on in that match. If he didn't swap, I don't know why he swapped the ground. Didn't swap the ground, just dropped the blades. He wouldn't have been burned. He would have been able to take us out, no problem. And I probably would have won the battle, but still. We're going to bring out Zassian. We have Zassian Kyogre up against a burned Groudon. That's going to be GG's. Your boy's grabbing, you guys, a perfect record. That feels good. I haven't grabbed myself a perfect record in Sword Shield in a little bit, so. Nice little pat on the back for myself. <laughs> nice little pat. Nice little pat. But yeah, Groudon's out and about. Psh. Psh. Get him on out of here. Get him on out of my face. I do not want him here. I don't want your money. I think Water Spout would have did more, but I'm just going to drop an Orange Pulse. Just have fun with it. He's going to stay in this battle. Stays in. Actually, Ice Beam probably would have been a play. But see, he does have the drought. But still, this is going to chip up some nice damage. And I think Orange Pulse can, can get the job done here, right? Never mind. He's rocking a berry. He is indeed rocking a berry. He's burned, so I think Zassian should be able to eat up the blades. And I think we should be thriving here. Orange Pulse coming in hot. Uh, send it. Bill, 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 Chipping up some nice damage. And that just takes him out. That just takes him out, no problem. No problem. Tiger said, yo, I don't even need the rain. You can have the drought out there. We're grabbing ourselves a perfect record. My favorite G-Max Pokemon, Pikachu over here. Clutches it up and grabs herself her first perfect record in a little bit. This team was absolutely amazing. If you guys are looking to push high ranks, I'm telling you guys. Rent this team right here. Pikachu's nice as a lead. You got Talonflame, who is a beautiful Tailwind setter. He also has the Quick Guard to protect from first turn priority moves. He has the will o -Wisp for Burns, which you guys seen in that third and final battle coming up, Clutch. And then you got the Zacian Kyogre, who are always OP and are always dominant Pokemon. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.